I just wanted to record a quick video on what to do in case you forgot your MacBook password. Um, it doesn't matter what kind of a Mac it is. It works on MacBook Pro, MacBook Air, iMac, um, as long as you're running the Mac operating system, any any uh, machine this, uh, this trick will work on. And um, just to mention, guys, please uh, use this video for educational purposes only. Don't try to get into someone's computer um, illegally. It's illegal to uh, break into someone's computer without their consent. Um, so, as you can see, uh, my account, I have a password on it. I can't get in. Um, forgot my password. So what you're going to need to do is, well, first of all, you're going to turn off the machine. I'm going to click shut down. Actually, it's going to take too long. Let me just power it off using this button here. And so once the machine's power off, what you're going to need to do is you're going to hold Command and S when the computer is turning on. So I'm going to hit the power button and I'm going to hold Command S. And I'm going to continue holding it until I get inside the terminal. So press the power button, hold Command S, and wait for the machine to boot up. Um, as you can see, this is not your normal login screen here. And let me just try to zoom in here because this text is very small. Okay. So what you can see here is now I am inside the terminal and the terminal is basically the same thing as uh, being inside the computer but instead of a graphical interface you're presented with um, with you, you talk to the computer with commands and the root thing that you see on the right here that basically means I have admin level access and in my eyes this is a huge security flaw because uh, you know you find a computer or a MacBook or something and you can easily get in um, anyways I'll just show you guys what you have to do from this point onwards um, so I have root level access um, to see all the all the accounts that are currently on the computer you're gonna type the cat command which just basically lists all the contents in a file and type slash etc slash p a s s w d yeah. try to focus in a little bit here there we go so i'm gonna hit enter and basically this just lists all of the all of the accounts that are currently on the computer and this is these are not the accounts that you've created they could be um you know multiple different accounts that uh, applications have created um for different kind of stuff but basically what you're going to need to do is you're going to type the password command followed by a space dash d followed by uh the username that you saw earlier on the login screen so in my case it was amir and this is going to when you hit when you press enter this command is going to wipe out the password on the machine. I don't want to do this right now because I actually do remember my password. Um, but just to just for demonstration purposes, I wanted to record this video. So uh, yeah, you basically have root level access here. You can uh, you can Google mo different kinds of commands that you can run on the terminal. Um, I can go inside the users directory, which is going to list all the users that are currently in the computer uh, as you can see Amir Malik is my current user I can cd into that directory cd is basically the change directory command ls will list all the contents inside the directory and yeah as you guys can see you know there's a lot of stuff that's I mean you basically have admin level access and you can do whatever you want um, which, which in my eyes is a is a huge security flaw. Um, yeah, guys. So, list you can see the documents in here. You can view pictures. Whatever you want to do, remove passwords. Um, yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video, and I hope this is helpful. Thank you for watching.